Hey goddesses, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I achieved this look with this wig. It's only $30 and it's the seven star, well, excuse me, Lotto Model seven star lace front wig in the color taffy. Um, guys, this wig is really, really awesome. It's a really cute color and it comes with instructions too. And it tells you like how high you can have the wig on. So it's a synthetic blend wig, meaning that um, you can put hot heat on it. So you can use up to 400 degrees. My suggestion is using 350 and below. Um, just don't risk it. These kind of wings are really, really cheap. Um, I'll put the link in the description box of um, where I got the wig from. I don't know why I'm saying um so much. But yeah, guys, stay tuned if you want to see how I lay and slay this wig. First things first, I'm going to brush this wig. And I'm going to show y'all the lace. So this is the lace right here. Not too much of a fan of the color. But yeah, um, so what I do is I just put the hair out the way. Just move it back like so. Like just move it back. Grab my scissors, cut. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'm trying to position it where y'all can see. I cut it like this close to the hairline. I don't know if you can kind of tell. But yeah, so I just cut it. Where there's a little bit of lace still there basically you have this much of lace left like not a lot at all and it doesn't even matter if you don't cut it neat i need to put it where y'all can see oh my gosh this is so much harder to film trying to cut the lace off with trying to see it myself so y'all can see but again just going around i would say probably like three centimeters from um, the hairline, if that, probably like two or one. I'm not really good with measurements here, give me a break. So yeah, so this much lace is off. I don't really need all that. So yeah, just to show y'all like literally barely any lace, just a tad bit is good enough, at least for me, this is my preference, I don't really, like having to deal with all that lace. so don't mind me this wig cap's kind of old so i already went ahead and parted my hair down the middle because it's the middle part and i just slide my wig cap leave a little bit i mean like a tiny bit of hair out just to make sure it lays kind of flat and it has like a little like natural little part sorry i'm looking in the mirror that's why i look crazy and i use got to be glued and literally a little bit goes a long way and I just put it at the top in the middle where I know it's gonna need the most security and sometimes honestly I don't even glue all the way down to my edges sometimes because I just don't like all that glue on my on my hair like that but yeah I just glue it on like that so it should look something like this I know it looks crazy but I promise you we gonna get there but I'll put a little bit around my hairline just a little bit so the wig I can put it behind my ear today because if I don't feel like putting it behind my ear yeah I'm not about to I'm really not about to um have that much glue on my head so I just wait till it gets tacky gets tacky gets tacky I am so annoying I don't know why y'all watching because I am so annoying but yeah I'm just gonna wait a little bit till it gets tacky and then I'm gonna Put the wig on. Like, that's so quick, y'all. Y'all see how quick it is to put on these wigs? It really don't take me. So, I went ahead and just put the wig on. Sorry, I'm moving my camera. Um, So, this is how it looks when you put it on. I am probably going to pluck some of it out just to get it to look a little bit more natural. But, this is it without even it being plugged. And it's pretty legit. It's still a little crooked. There we go. There we go. Sorry, it's a progress, so it takes a little minute to find the middle of my head. I don't know why my head is like this. It is what it is, though. So sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, it sheds a little bit. I'll just pluck it like so. Just 
pluck all the hair out just by pulling it but you don't want to pull too hard to make um make holes in it but it does make the hair look a little bit more uh, realistic if the parts a little wider and for some reason this side has more hair than the other side like I don't know why but it is what it is some wigs are just like that and look you can like put this behind your ear you can create some baby hairs this is just me playing around with it because I just got this wig last night um, so and the glue still hasn't stuck quite yet as you can see it's still trying to stay down but it will get there you just have to let that let it dry I look crazy don't I <laughs> I look so crazy so this is with just a little minor plucking not too much not too much plucking at all I brush this little piece down to make it have some baby hairs and just I like to cut it at an angle. Then, where's my gel at? I'm just out here. I got my gel and I just got my beauty supply store brush. I feel like I'm doing the Ray J challenge by <laughs> freaking changing my shirt. But yeah, you just want to put a little bit of hair in the front. Because I'm definitely going to have to cut this big. And just... Just to give it some like see just like that just a little bit and then same thing on this side this is basically it this is basically it y'all tell me what you think Rush it till I see the smoke. Call it,